time of year, we need to get ready for snowmobile season, believe it or not. A little warm here right now in Ontario, but it is gonna get colder. I know it, and we're gonna have a great season. What we're gonna do, we're gonna customize a trailer. We have Dennis's trailer. He's one of the Power Mods crew. He always lends it to us. We kind of wreck the trailer a little bit, smash it up, poke some holes in it by accident. Least I can do is do a little bit of a makeover on his trailer. Uh, he loves it. So we're gonna take all this product from Caliber Products and we're gonna install it in there. And it's a little bit of a surprise. So hopefully uh, he's gonna like what we do to this. Now Caliber makes a lot of products. Sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming, but they've made it very easy for all of us, especially guys like me who get kind of confused with all these parts and pieces. All you gotta do is go on a Caliber Products Inc inc.com and they have an online configurator. So we went in, I put in the length of the trailer that it's a V nose, the type of ramp, uh, the width and all the other information that they require and it just magically punches out everything that you're gonna need to make the trailer look exactly like that. Pretty cool, right? Very easy, very convenient. And I tell you, I've used Caliber products for about five years now, and I'm extremely happy. They make a very good product. Everything, all their hardwood is stainless, or all their hardware is stainless, and this really rigid plastic that, actually it's a little bit uh, flexible, if you will, in the really, really cold weather, so it's not gonna break. It's not gonna snap. You know, check out this stuff. We're using the Flex Guide low and high types to guide that ski in along the side of the trailer and the low ones are kind of used a little bit more inside so it still guides it but you're not going to be tripping all over it. Low pro grip glides to use on the ramp so you're not slipping. They've got these little buttons on here that sort of or the grip points on here that your boots get sort of trapped on so you're not going to slip. I use those on very steep ramps never have an issue. Low pro glides wide just for inside the trailer just guide that ski right along. Not gonna damage all your wood. Edge glides, these little gizmos right here. I already started to put some of these together just so I could see what they look like. Just so you can get your slide up that ramp really very easily and off, of course. So one thing that's really cool is this track scrabber. This goes on the ramp and it's set up for every pitch of track. So no matter what kind of sled you have, your track is always gonna grab onto these for the exact pitch. Very cool. Some of the things you're gonna need, of course, everything comes with installation instructions, but you're gonna need a drill, potentially to drill at some old screws, uh, something to drill in the new screws, safety glasses, a knife to cut the boxes open, some standard screwdrivers, or actually some Phillips screwdrivers, and a pair of gloves, and a little bit of time. We're gonna get this done. Let's take a look at Dennis's trailer. So you can see a few things, you know? Look at this, this old ramp here. It's just particle board. We're gonna change that up. It takes a bit of a beating. We're gonna use the edge glides on it. I'm missing half the screws on it as it is. The carbides grab on here and rip that wood apart. So we're gonna use some edge glides on that as well. And we're gonna just tidy this whole thing up for good old Dennis. Let's get her done. I'm just gonna throw a whole bunch of material inside the trailer and lay it all out real loose like. Make sure that I have enough product and then I'll get a pretty good idea the way I want it set up. One thing I like about Caliber is that they listen to, to snowmobilers. You know, if they're at a show, or somebody asks them a question, says, you know what, I got a good idea. You guys should do this, you know. You know, I got no grip when I'm walking up and down these ramps. Why don't they come up with a product that fits the bill? If you're doing this when it's really cold out, make sure you lay these out in a bit of a warm environment so they're not so stiff. This is fun. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together, but a really easy puzzle. These are the flex glides low, so they're pretty cool. No matter what kind of size your trailer is, they, you want to do one of these or those, they work and they just sort of clip in piece to piece. How cool is that? 
you know, and the, I don't know what kind of plastic, I don't know what kind of plastic they use on these things, but you know, I've seen carbides go over these a zillion times with no exaggeration. And uh, there's virtually no scuff marks on it. Pretty crazy. So these are the lows. I've got things kind of put together in here a little bit. I'm just sort of placing things around. Yeah, we do a bunch of different things. You know, if he's only carrying two sleds, he just drives them in and parks them and ties them down. There are tie downs under here. I'm going to carve those out. Uh, but sometimes when we really want to stuff this in, we just back them in and we do all kinds of stuff. I do notice that, you know, when this wood gets all wet, you know, the sleds come in and they're dripping all the, the, uh, the water and the slush off the coolers. Um, it all turns icy and you try to back out and it just doesn't want to go. It just slips and the guys are pulling backs and all that. That's why we're going to put these here in the middle, these grip glides. And these are the wide low pro glides. Oh, they're gonna go right there. I'm gonna take some measurements, some ski measurements, make sure that we've got most of these uh, sleds covered so we have the right, uh, the widths. 80, 81 inches just short of seven feet wide. When you're dealing with an eight foot trailer, of course, uh, your big wide trail sleds, no problem, side by side. It's a little tighter in here, side by side, but all of our sleds pretty much are running about a 36 inch stance, 36, 37. So that's pretty good for us. It's usually when we park them side by side, sort of one ski rides up on top of the other and we just jam them in. That's kind of just what we do. But all I'm gonna do is mark, 40 and a half inches right there. That's it. I'm just gonna do that a few times down the middle. 40 and a half inches. 40 and a half. What is this? That's 76 inches. Half of 76 is 35 and three is 38. So half of this is 38 inches. See how fast I can do math. That's easy math. Thirty-eight. Not complicated. What you do is you place these little plastic inserts in here, and that allows for contraction and expansion during you know hot and cold spells. And they do. Trust me, they do expand and contract. I've seen it, I've, I've owned them before. That's plastic, that's just nature of the product. Middle one doesn't matter because it's expanding and contracting on either side of it. Just let me make sure I got that roughly the same. I'll place that other one right beside it. Now it's just a, a game of installation. So we've done this center section. It's all installed. Looks awesome. Now we're going to just run up the sides with these low pro glides, but there are tie downs. So I've just marked the distance from here. And I need to cut these out. Push up there. Here. So I need to go to that one. There. See what I did here? You're way too far out there. So all I did was I measured my distance from here to here, pulled it out, marked where this is, push that in against the trailer. That's where that is. But I need to carve that out. Now, 
Let me see. Somebody who's really particular would do this. Bam. So they would just cut the square out and then it'll look really good. Let's do that. Can I score that enough with a knife? I'd have to get some kind of power tool. Yes, I can. Yes. Ooh, my blade came off. Okay, there we go. This one have a blade in it? Oh yeah, that's much better. This one's not gonna break. It's hot in here. To keep any part of your body that you care for away from this blade. There we go. There. Just looks way cleaner. You know what I'm saying? It's got that nice little spot there. So I'm gonna put that in and then I'm gonna keep working my way all the way up, both sides. Things are coming along pretty well in here. I just cut this last one out, trimmed it a little bit for the angle on the V-nose trailer. Now, you know, your ski's not gonna go all the way up to here, but I'm still running up. It looks good that way. Easier to run the shovel along it when you wanna clean out your excess snow as well, right? Gonna be nice. With these low pro glides, you also need to make sure that you space them out a little bit. Because they expand and contract as well. Now we've got these flex glides and there is a little, you can see it here, there's another tie down point. But these are pretty cool in the sense that I can just do that. I can leave that tie down just like that. It's still going to guide that ski in. We're using the high ones, right? Makes sense. Not going to catch our boot on them. You know, we can always make an adjustment later on too if we need to. But you got to make sure that you have all your attachment points, your tie down points, because MTO around here, Ministry of Transportation Ontario, they are not very nice. Actually, they're just doing their job. They look at stuff like that. You don't want your sleds flopping around in here anyway. Like I say, I wanna, sometimes we back the sleds in and I wanna keep this material as far back as we can. More traction, that's what it's all about. Now it's time to set up the tracks mat. Now they said ideally you wanna install this tracks mat, it's a rubber product at about uh, 70 degrees and um, on a nice and sunny day because as it heats up, it expands quite a bit apparently. But you know what? Today is just the day that we have. And that's the day that we're gonna install it, which is today. So how much room do we have there? Oh my God, I nailed that. I did. I seldom do that. Now these ones, you just tack these corners in, about three quarters of an inch from the edge. Arm about there, okay. Just till it slightly compresses. That's about it. But it's a good, it is a warm day. I'm not gonna lie, I, it is warm in here right now. I'll set the other mat up and then I'm just gonna work my screws all the way down. I kind of want it to follow this. I mean, if I, the tracks aren't gonna really go much back, much further than this, so. It's gonna be there and I'm just gonna cut 
that corner off. No idea what I'm going to use, how it's going to work best on a big giant rubber mat. Let's try that. No problemo. Do one of these. And do one of these too. Generally when you grab rubber, a lot easier. Careful with these knives, man. Oh, nice. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to run this, uh, you know, we've, we've configured this trailer all kinds of different ways when we're loading our sleds. Some of our sleds are really small. Sometimes we put elands in it. Uh, we've got some wider sleds, but for the most part, they're all about 36, 37 inches in stance. Usually what we do is we ride our one sled in, nose first, it sort of comes around the corner, and then we take the other ones and we back them right in and just put the, the back of the sled right in against here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run this tracks mat all the way to the back. Um, I'm going to run a couple more lengths of the low pro glides, but I'm not going to use these, but I will put them in here for them. And once we start to you know, utilize this in the winter, if we see that we can use them in a certain way, we certainly will. But at least up until this point, you know, those uh, on the edge, are, they're gonna be just perfect here, the high ones. I think that's just about it, you know? Um, so I'm gonna finish fastening this mat down and then we'll run two more long ones. And then that way, you know, even when it rides in, it's still got some of this plastic surface to, to uh, run the ski on and just to straighten out. It's all good. We're getting, getting, getting her done. It's almost done, right? And it's coming along very well. This thing's ready to fall off on its own, but we're working on these uh, grip glides here. So we need to figure out where these babies go in relation to those ones. And the boys love when I eyeball things. Because I'm an amazing eyeballer. Let's just see. Well, somebody was a little off cutting these things. No, no, we're good. We're good. Looks a little wider at the bottom. Uh, I love the comments and videos. Why don't you just get the tape measure? You got one. Use it. All right. 19 and 5 8 Strategic lug placement engages two, five, two, two, eight, six, and three inch pitch tracks. So it's not gonna hook you up your 197 like your old lands. I think it's 197. They're 16 inches wide, 24 inches long. Beautiful. I love it. More screws. I don't think we've put enough screws in here today. I think we need to put more screws in. These need to go the right way. So I'm putting them with this edge here pointing up. See, look the little directional arrows right there. That's up your ramp, up your ramp. Up your ramp, they say. Three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths. So I can cut that right there. Nobody will ever know. Just like placing things out a little bit so we get to see where they're supposed to go. That's easy to remember. I'm gonna cut those up. We're going to install those and this is going to look amazing. Not too bad, eh? For an, I just let my Canadian out of the bag. Did you hear that? I said not too bad, eh? 
Jeez. Okay. A, not too bad. That's American. Um, takes this old trailer, transforms it into some awesomeness. He's going to love this. And we'll leave him with some extra little goodies, little bags of tricks. So um, if he needs some, he has them. Okay. This won't be too hard to cut. That was easy. That knife has been through a lot today. All these are molded right in-house, right in the good old United States of America. These aren't farmed out. I have visited Caliber in the past. I've seen their molding machines. I've seen them punching out product. It's pretty cool, very cool process. Check out that video. I'll add a little link to that in the description. It's nice to see, you know, manufacturing still local, right? Paul at Caliber loves when I do this. And you know what? It's pretty funny. He's one of their super duper engineer guys there. And uh, we were at his place uh, doing the Terra Cross at Hay Days. And we were sitting around in his garage. And I eyeballed something to within five thousandths of an inch. We measured it. He was slightly blown away. Me too, actually. It was just pure luck. But I did it, and it was funny. He'll confirm that. Now, most of the time, I can't do that to save my life. But I think that's just pretty good right there. These are hard on the knees. There we go. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. And one thing left to do, we gotta get rid of this old ramp, put some edge glides on here. Oh, wrong way. Get out of there. Get out of there. The edge glides. These things are pretty cool. Used them on our other ones before. I watched Keely catch a carbide on one of these once, and uh, he hit his face, it was on a clamshell, hit his face right in the handlebars. He stopped dead, bang. This was not pretty. That was not pretty at all. There. These edge glides come. Where's our box? Come like this. They come with the hinges. And you just install them. Actually, they're installed like this. And they come with a half hinge as well. So you can end it here. But the good thing about that is, is that so when you lift one, they all go. You don't have to go along and grab every one and try to get it up, right? So here's a, here's a half hinge as well. So I've sort of pre-installed these because it takes a thousand hours. Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't take long at all. You just use your ratchet and boop, boop, boop. You know what, before we go any further, I mean, I know it's going to close, but let's just see. I like it. I like it a lot. All done. Doesn't that look nice? It looks like a new trailer. I think it's great. Lots of traction. No more damage. Now this isn't a drive-through trailer. That's what those other, I, I checked it out. That's what those other uh, edge glides were for, to direct the sled out of the trailer easier. Uh, we don't have that issue, but we're gonna keep them because we could well, we always find a use for something, right? I wish I had a sled to pull in here, but everything's up on the shelves and you're just gonna have to wait till the winter. 
A big thanks to you for watching and a big thanks to Caliber Products as usual. Thanks for stopping by and uh, keep on coming. The snowmobile videos are coming. We're gonna be working we're going to be working on the old LAN out there and a whole bunch of other things. Stay tuned. These hinges are a little stiff, but they'll get better. Well, check this out. I should show you this. So look at this. That's going to keep all the snow out of that hinge. What a great idea. All the snow, we're constantly Brooming it out of there, trying to get the chunks of ice out. No more. No more at all. That's great. Let's go like that. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. He loves it when I do this. Usually, I only put one of these on to cover up a dent I put in it. Okay, one of those. I love it. Oh yeah, let's shut her down.